What's going on? It's Ballistic, Ballistic Beats, BallisticProductions.com. Back with a NPC FL Studio video. Highly requested inboxes, DMs, comments of my last video, which you can check out somewhere. I'm going to pop it up somewhere. <laughs> uh, check that out if you haven't. Um, basically, a lot of people saw me use the NPC in FL Studio as a VST, but are asking how to actually set that up. So from now, I'm going to show you how to set it up from the install to finding the uh, VST in FL to actually using it and how I use it. So if you haven't, uh, before we get started, I'm going to wait, hit the like button. If it's something you want, if it ain't, you can go <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Uh, help me get to a thousand. Let's get it. Let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing starts when you are actually installing the MPC. Um, I'm gonna go in here from the installer, select my MPC, which is the live one. And I already installed this. I'm just gonna show you what you're looking for. So I'm going to reinstall because it's an update and I already have it installed, but yours might say install MPC software. So you'll click there. Go to reinstall, get my prompt. All right, accept the agreement, whatever it says. <laughs> Who actually reads that? All right, so the first screen you actually come to here is select components to install. You can do custom, but I always do full just to make sure I do have everything. And this right here, right here, wherever, wherever that is, this is the main thing that you're gonna be looking for. And I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, cause I, I haven't had the problem, but I'm guessing this is what people miss. You wanna make sure that you install the VST plugin and the 64-bit version. Most people are on 64-bit now uh, of the MPC software and continue to go through this installation. And that way it'll install to, uh, I think it asks, yeah, it asks, where you want to put it you want to put it in your plugins folder i always try to put mine in the same folder that way it's easier in my doll to uh keep up with i'm gonna exit out of there because i already did it again going to fl studio and it should show up here under my uh i did that fast i'm gonna click here for new plugins I have MPC here. I can just click that and it opens up the MPC software. If you saw my screen, it just kicked in because uh, I was looking for the computer because it's in a uh, controller mode right now. But if you don't have MPC in this list already, you'll need to go to options, manage plugins, and all your plugins show here. Some of you might be familiar with it, but um, whenever you install new plugins, you kind of need to have FL Studio go back through and sweep for the plugins to uh, actually find it. To see if you have it, you can click here and find and go to MPC, and you can see mine is already showing up. If it's not, make sure that the area that you installed it in, that folder where I was saying you install all your uh, VSTs, that should be listed here. If not, you can add a folder or whatnot. And then you'll click find more plugins. Once that VST folder is here, that contains the MPC uh, VST that you installed earlier. So click find more plugins. It's gonna do its thing. It might take a few minutes. Then all the uh, plugins show up here and everything that's new will show up uh, orange I'm trying to find one so I recently installed RC 20 um, and it's showing up orange so your NPC will show up orange if it just found it for the first time and once you do that you should have it uh, show up here you can open it up and start loading sounds in so if you look I have all the pads down here I don't know why it's so big it used to let me resize it Anyway, so I'm gonna go through, find a clap. I like that clap. 
and then you see I can just hold it, drag it from the pane and drop it onto whatever pad I want. I'm going to drop it on four down there. I'm going to get that's dope. I'm going to drop that on one. I already have like certain spots that I put certain types of drums. Like I always like my kicks down here at the beginning and then claps and snares over there. My hi-hats on eight, like a open hi-hat on 12. Like I'd been doing that for so long that I just kind of got in the motion and I just remember it. So I might have stuff scattered out. You can put it wherever it works for you. Um, like I said, hi-hat. Pretty basic. We got it. All right. I'm going to close that for now and get me a melody going. Where is trusty old Omnisphere? Track one, channel one, I mean. That don't sound too tough. I don't like the sound no more. I'm gonna change it up a little bit right there. Keyscape. This is gonna be basic. I just wanna make a beat since I got everything set up. I like that sound, but it do got, it's, I like the fuzziness, but it got like way too much fuzz, so I'll take some of the high end out. Alright, alright, that's enough to get started, I'm gonna go back to... NPC, 
So I'm gonna just put on 10 just because. Set the NPC to four bars two. Everything syncs up. All right, here's another thing. Uh, the transport I hit overdub. It didn't do anything, so that lets me know that it's still kind of in standalone mode. So what you want to do is go to the NPC settings. You can do it on the hardware too, but I'm gonna do it on software just to show. NPC settings, uh, edit, preferences, hardware, and right now it says to host off. I want to put that to NPC plugin because I'm using that version right now. So now everything should definitely sync up. I can overdub, hit record everything on here for the NPC part. And we'll go with that. Uh, play that again. Definitely lined up now. I can't hit that. Let's go. So that's one of the best things that I like about um, using both because the swing and everything in that NPC, it just make those those uh, drums and perks sound like snappy and all that. But then uh, the 808s, it's tricky trying to tune the 808 and find which pad it works. You got to use your ears um, or you can use a key group and use the keyboard and do it. But that's one of the beauties of the FL Studio is uh, you got that piano roll and you can just just use that so i'm gonna just go with that and um do my 808s that's already tuned to c i think i need to right click and cut itself so it'll uh won't overlap
that's a basic beat. Um, I could go more, but this is kind of a tutorial, so we'll stop with that for that. Um, to get everything back, all right, so, so I'm going to put this pattern on here. I don't know why I'm doing it one by one. You know you can uh, highlight it and control B and do it however long you want. But with this NPC stuff, say that's all my drums, that's everything that I want, it's good to go. What I want to do now is on this drum track, since everything's on the same track, go to edit, track, explode. And what that did was put each one of those drums on its own track. So now I'm gonna go to the kick track, got just my kicks. And what I can do is use this thing over here. It's like a little waveform with a plus sign. You see export audio if you hover over it. You click that, it quickly makes everything on that track audio. Now I can click that same button, hold down, and drag it over to my playlist. And I got my kicks there. So go back to the NPC. I'm going to go to the next track, which is my snare. Click that button. It's wave now. Hold it down. Drag that into FL. Go to the next. What we got next? The um, clap. Click it. Hold it down. Drag it over. So I'm going to do that for everything else real quick. All right, so now that I got all the MPC tracks in here, you can see they have a little bit extra length. Of course, we know that's not a problem. You can grab the blade and get on the right spot. <laughs> Cut the excess off. Delete that. And now we got that. What you wanna do is now that we don't need that anymore, I'm just gonna turn the volume all the way down and disable the NPC track. So now it's not playing the NPC, it's just gonna play the uh, audio. And that's it, you can arrange it from there. And if you want to add anything else to the NPC, just enable the track back, give it some volume, go back in there, go to a new track, add that drum sound or whatever, and uh, export it back out the same way, and then just turn it back. That's, that's all you got to do. All right, so hopefully that was a better explanation than my previous video. But uh, as always, if you guys have any more questions, hit me in the comment section. I try to reply to everything, everything that makes sense. <laughs> but um, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Get me to that 1,000 mark. Um, it's been moving. I've been out for a couple weeks, but now I'm back. I'm going to try to post. I'm going to post at least once, but probably twice every week. And um. Yeah, y'all hold it down. Stay safe out here. It's still going crazy. But until um, next time.